Okay, a few more details of the dash. This is the uh, display and controller uh, interface for the Hyper 9 motor. And it basically shows the battery, the uh, miles per hour, which actually I've converted to show RPM. Um, and we have control here of the regen. There are actually three programmable settings for regen. Um, and um, so I usually keep it in the middle one, but it does vary depending on which gear you're in. And then you've got down here uh, a very interesting control to actually go into diagnostics on the on the uh, on the go. If I press it correctly, uh, there we go. Uh, and what this allows is um, various different diagnostics, things like RPM and motor temperature and things like that. Um, I've got a little crib card somewhere just to tell me what they all are. So, for example, number two is the amps that the motor's running, and uh, I see it's nothing at the moment. And number 31 is the motor temperature. See, it actually shows a little temperature gauge. So, there we go. The motor itself is at actually only 23.5 because we just started out. So, uh, press that again, and we go out of that mode. Then up here we've got the SIMP BMS output and um, the ampage needs uh, a bit more work uh, but it doesn't matter because I've got an overall uh, volt and amp and a kilowatt meter over here which is damn useful. Um, but uh, one of these days I must get the SIMP programmed. Then we've got the fuel gauge driven by the SIMP which uh, as you can see shows full um taco and speedo and finally down the end we have uh what used to be an oil pressure gauge and a water temperature gauge and the water really never goes above about 50 so i'm going to repurpose that and make it read the motor temperature and maybe the oil pressure if i can turn that into either a vacuum meter or something like that anyway we'll see